All right. Hi, you guys. So I'm here to talk about my second full-time paycheck for the month of December. I consider it as my uh, second because my uh, previous one was on what it was. It's on, I get paid semi-monthly. So I get paid on the last day of the month and then on the 15th. So when my next paycheck come out at the end of December, that's basically for January. So yeah. Here we go. Um, it is $1,881.33. Don't get too excited. <laughs> On this paycheck, um, so far, they did take off for the, the full eight hours for the day of drama surgery and like a, an hour and a half kind of for that, that second day um, or the third, like um, that Wednesday when he got his stents taken out of his nose. So I guess next paycheck, the other hour and a half that I'm supposed to be deducted will show up on that statement on that check. And now obviously that should have been smaller, right? Because of that. But, but my job in this paycheck, they have reimbursed me for the first like November's internet service. They uh, gave me credit for, December's internet service and my installation. So in this paycheck, um, there was a credit of $250, $75 internet credit for each month, November and December, and the $100 um, installation, okay, um, reimbursement. So yeah, that's all in this check. So even though, yes, I was short some hours in this paycheck, this kind of made up for it. So in the future, it won't be as high. And um, really quick, my last paycheck of December, still um, 401k is not being taken out just yet. I don't know when that's going to kick in, to be honest. I haven't changed anything, um, but it hasn't kicked in. Um, and also, um, health services will start in January. So my next paycheck may be a little bit around this amount, 1,800. But after that, y'all, it will go down to around uh, 1,500, which that's what I'm expecting, if not a little bit less once um, healthcare and my 401k deductions start to get taken out. All right, so what do we have to pay with this? Okay, here we go. These are our bills. Our Capital One small credit card is going to be $55, and that's for the our um, home internet, okay? Um, Discover is going to be $22, and in here I put that there's no more gym in here, and I put the $250 reimbursement, but I did write it down here uh, for my records, just so I know that, hey, $250 out of that does have to go towards that uh, Discover bill. Donations will be $25. Starting next year, once I figure out how my paychecks are, y'all, that's going to get bumped up, okay? Insurance, which is for two cars and renter's insurance, that's $138. A car payment of $246. Richmond Utilities is $37. You know, been using some heat. Okay, so obviously these bills, will start, uh, Richmond Utilities will start to pick back up. So I have to start taking that into consideration. And cell phone bill is $62. I put that we're only, uh, it only has one phone payment. But on this, um, there was an extra $12 because I went over data. <laughs> So there was an extra $12 there. Also, what did I want to say? I did buy a phone for myself. Um, the monthly payments, it's not anything fancy at all. I'm not worried about anything fancy. I just want something that's going to have um, good uh, battery life and the fingerprint. So I got like a Motorola G Power the 22, uh, 2022 version. I have the older version and I love it. This not that's not the phone I have right now. I have a Samsung A something, but I like the Motorola. I like the finger sensor uh, because on this Samsung, the sensor is on my um on my screen and it doesn't really read. Probably because I do have like a case on it uh, with the little foam in the front, like you know, like the little plastic thing in the front. But still, I don't I don't really care for that type of sensor on the screen uh, for my hand. So. 
yep but yeah i can't wait to get that phone in the mail and once i get it y'all i should be i will be getting a hundred dollar gift card as well so making the phone be roughly around what 200 a uh, hundred dollars out of pocket but i'm paying on it monthly so once i get that hundred dollar gift card i'll let you guys know um but yeah next bill will be going back up so it'll be around this amount if i don't go over data I did put down uh, 250 Now, the bill itself was around $211 um, between my, um, what can I say, between installation and, you know, my bill portion is around $95 per month. So, yeah, it was the first bill that I got from um, my new internet service for my job excuse me, was $211. And I'm like, girl, just put all of that 250 over there. And you guys know, I already told you that um, my next, my December bill, when that comes out, it's already been paid for because I did get a credit for that already um, for next month's bill, which that will be coming out in January. So yeah, that's going to be money in my pocket. But for right now, this is how it's all working out. All right, so let's get into our variable expenses. Um, we're gonna do fifty dollars. Oops, sorry, fifty dollars for gas. Food out will be thirty dollars. We actually still have our thirty dollars from last uh, paycheck, so we haven't ate and out for like what almost two weeks, which is awesome, awesome. But I will say we did have some money left over from some extra money, which I threw towards food out. But um, yeah, we're doing really, really good. Um, you know, just having a lot of options at home, different options, like good foods, you know, it's always good. It's nice to eat out, but like when you have everything that you need at home, you don't really crave for nothing out, you know. Uh, laundry, we're doing $20. House items was already taken care of. Maintenance was already taken care of. I have to pull that $40 out because I would like my son to get a new haircut while he's out of school before the new year comes. But that... that um, is money that's already in the account. And then my 1K savings, uh, I put that at zero because I plan on just starting fresh next year, y'all. Big, big plans. I'm going to share it with y'all. Y'all going to be rocking and rolling with me, okay? <laughs> and we'll be discussing that soon. So between these right here, which is $585 plus these three expenses that's a hundred dollars that's 685 then i went up here i just put 250 dollars because i like to have a record of what's going on so two um 685 plus 250 that's 935 dollars so 935 dollars taken away from my uh, full-time paycheck here that leaves us with $946.33. This is where we, you guys haven't seen this section in a while, right? You uh, you have seen this section. Y'all have seen this section, but y'all have been seeing me pull away from this balance, okay? When we're going to talk about this in my other savings in another video. But if y'all have been rocking with me for over two years because i i've been low income i've been low income for almost two years now okay it's crazy to say that but yes i've been low income for like two years now um and i'm finally back you know back to my old self being financially okay i'm not i'm not bragging okay now um and i will say this right here i think it's amazing where other people I watch other people's videos and they still consider this low income for themselves now for me in my situation I feel like I'm balling okay so our perceptive of what low income is and what high earning is is totally different I am not in a six figures y'all I'm not making six figures per year but I still feel rich like it's just I how I feel I feel like Candace and I share with you guys my budget and I'm just like I just feel so blessed you guys I really really do so me having this it's like for the past what year when I was working at my part-time job I didn't even make this much in a month 
So for me to get this in one paycheck, that's awesome. That is awesome. But kind of going back here, in the past, when I used to work at my full-time job, my previous full-time job, and I was doing, you know, like my Amazon and Kohl's, we used to use this section for leftovers. Leftovers, y'all. We're getting back into this. I could not believe it when I'm like, Candace, we get to use this section actually for savings and not borrowing from savings. It's a total 180. Y'all, all I can say is I hope I can keep up with it. I hope I can get out of training and get on production floor. You know, everything's up in the air. You know, when you start a new job, you know, there's a trial period, right? You have to pass. I feel like I'm a pass with flying colors. Don't get me wrong, but you just never know. You know, life throws you curveballs. You guys know I deal with mental health. And right now, you know, not every day is a good day. I, you know, I'll keep plugging forward. I share my ups and downs. Right now, it may seem like I'm in the season of good and happiness. My sister said, Candace, you feel like, I feel like, this is back to you. And I'm like, sis, what do you mean? She said, being happy and stuff. I am very happy about my new job, you guys. I really, really am. But, you know, stuff can get taken away from you in, in a moment. So what I like to share with you guys that even though, yes, I am now making almost double than what I was making in the past year at my part-time job, we're getting back into this and we got plans. We have some plans and I'm going to share that with y'all. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's my budget for this paycheck. Obviously we do have, um, an Amazon paycheck that will be coming out, which I'll be updating soon. And then our last paycheck from Amazon for the year, which is, will be on December 23rd. I put down my YouTube income, which I kind of went over that with you for my uh, previous video that money is flowing in because money is flowing in, y'all. And right here, I did put down that I'm supposed to get my last part-time paycheck for vacation payout. It wasn't in my last paycheck. They said it should be in this one. So I'll keep an eye out on that. It's not much. It's like three or four hours of vacation time. But at $17.50 an hour... Anything that's owed to me, I want it. You owe me. You owe me. I accrued it. I didn't use it prior to leaving. And per their systems and per the employee manual, if you leave and you still have vacation time, you will get that paid out. So, yes, that's going to be extra money rolling in too, y'all. Extra money may not be nothing but $50, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. And we're going to just stack this money back up, y'all. Stack this money back up. And we'll talk about my 2023 goals, and I will talk to you guys soon. All right, bye.